Hi there, welcome back to my channel Live First Studio. I hope you are doing good. So in our last video, we uh, created home fragment and we added the functionality of the workflow workflow using Fine App Controller uh, in our link fragment. And we also tested this out on our physical device, so everything worked fine. So in this particular video, we'll be uh, designing the layout of the home fragment. So let's switch uh, to our Figma file and see what all components we need to add in this home fragment. So this is our Figma file and we have completed the link fragment. Now we are on the home fragment design. So I have divided this home fragment into two uh, major parts. So first one is the static components. So static components includes the progress bar, uh, the pneumorphism buttons, the labels, uh, the titles and the search bar. So all these uh, components uh, are static because these are not going to change dynamically according uh, as per the layout and the second part is the recycler view so there is one recycler view where uh, whenever you will add an instance uh, or add a detail of an instance a new uh, tab or cell will be created so this is a dynamic one for which we need to create a cell as well uh, so we will be dividing we will be working first on the static components and then after in our second part I will be working on the recycler view so let's get started so before starting designing our home fragment layout let's just quickly take a look inside our gradle file so in order to design this uh, home fragment we have certain components that require third-party libraries which uh, I have also inserted the links to those li libraries in the description below so you guys can go and check the libraries out uh, on their website and see what all modifications or, or alterations you can make uh, to those components so go inside your gradle script under gradle script first you have to come inside your module level uh, build.gradle file and you need to add these two uh, dependencies uh, so i have provided the link in the description as well but uh, here is the here are the dependencies that we require this one is for neomorphism and this one is for the circular progress view and uh, for the neomorphism as per their official website we also need to add uh, uh, the Maven repository inside your uh, project level repositories inside your uh, build.gradle but uh, as I'm using the latest version of uh, Android Studio which is Bumblebee and if you will start a new project on Bumblebee then there is a slight uh, change in the build.gradle file so earlier all this used to be a part of build. at project level but currently after the bumblebee it's it is been shifted inside the settings.gradle file so if you're using uh, the android studio version bumblebee and you have uh, built the project or created the project on the latest version then you have to add this library and these and this library by going inside settings.gradle file and if you are using the older version then you will be finding the same uh, structure inside the project level uh, build.gradle file so I've added the required uh, dependencies and links. So let's start on actually building up our layout file. So let's start by removing this view and actually adding some of the buttons. So if you see then uh, in this Figma file, we have two uh, top buttons. So one is one will be used to delete all the instances for the recycler views that we'll be creating and another one is to update the current api which we are using so let's just design these two first so We have these two buttons ready so now uh, let's design this view Yep, 
have this thing ready now it's time to create this uh, circular progress bar so in order to have that uh, this uh, circular im status kind of uh, indicator all you have to do is we can create another card view and this card view should be a slightly bigger than the previous one so if that was 150 let's just keep it 165 and 165 that's it and once we have this let's just this enclose it first and this should be exactly in place with the card view which we have created earlier so we'll just drag the constraints and make it aligned to this card view now as you can see we are perfectly aligned but uh, this card view is coming like on the top of the previous one so what you have to do is you have to add elevation in the previous one so if you just do two or maybe three uh, no not this one uh, actually we have to do the card elevation and here we can do card elevation as one yes so after doing this step uh, you'll be able to see that we are getting the similar effect uh, with this will be treated as the status padding and inside will be a static indicator so uh, let's just make this round as well so corner radius it is as 85 slightly less than the previous one and in order to try it out let I'll just give it a card background color so now the second part is so this will just create a halo look around the uh, static ec2 image now we also have to create an active uh, circular progress bar so for that we'll be making use of the external library that we just imported inside the project so i'll in, uh, so name of the library was you just have to write the progress bar and here it is and then then our next part is so we have designed till here and our next part is to design this uh, lower layout which is which contains this part so uh, I know that this is not visible in this screenshot but actually uh, this is a movable part so till here it's static and after this point I have created a nested view so nested scroll view so uh, this whole part after this uh, uh, this progress indicator goes up uh, if we scroll this recycler view as well so switching back here let's create a nested scroll view first Now it's time to add a neomorphism button. So for that, we will be using neomorphism floating action button.
so our this part is ready uh, next is this text view so put that That's it. I think it looks good. Yeah, a little bit of margin at the top. And this looks good to me. Yes. Now the next part is to have this labeler. So for that, we can create I think that's it and also yeah let's just compare instance status and we have this boundaries as well yes yeah, so I think we have uh, created this much of layout now our next part is to assign this search bar so let's just go ahead and create this search bar as well so for this uh, uh, search bar, I'm using actually a customized edit text with a custom background. So I'll show you that how to create this kind of a search bar with a custom uh, cursor drawable as well. So jumping on, so let's just create an edit text first. So currently it's just looking like a normal edit text so let's just go ahead and create uh, a drawable file so for that you have to go to the drawable folder right click new drawable resource file let's just give a name uh, search bar yes so let's just move this and create shape and inside the shape we need to get the shape as rectangle okay and inside this we don't want to we can go back to our home fragment and provide a background to this uh, search bar okay so now you see I'm not sure whether you are able to see it but we have this nice background uh, around the edit text now we I can go ahead and create another drawable for the cursor So we need to create another drawable for this cursor. So let's just go ahead to our drawable file and create another drawable resource file. So this we can call as cursor drawable. Yes. Okay. 
Okay, we can go ahead and hold fragment and add the tribal as cursor tribal. So our functionality is completed for this static path. So uh, let's just go ahead and test our uh, layout. So how does it look on our actual physical device? So for that, I'll quickly build this project. Yes. So this is the emulator on my physical device and this looks perfect. So here we have image view, here we have two buttons, currently not functional. Here we have a cool, nice shadow neomorphism button, uh, which has a very, very uh, smooth transition while you're pressing. We have this uh, indicator that get all the details of your running instance and monitoring control. So this is uh, the status banner. So whenever a user will uh, click on the get me the status of this instance here the status will be updated if instance is stopping stopped or whatever status it's showing so this is a place where we will be getting okay uh, so we need to remove this ripple effect so and uh, just we can also test this search instance so we also require to give some padding around this and the search bar is also working so when we have something to search, it gets the, we have this custom drawable with this cool, nice effect and with no line at the bottom. So our top view is functional and working. Uh, now let's jump and do some tweaks around this. So we need to remove this ripple. So for that, uh, we have to do is just come in our layout file here uh, under ripple color. You can have this as transparent. And when you again run this, yeah. So now when you click on it, it doesn't gives you a ripple. And this gives you a cool banner kind of look. Like this is a place where something needs to be updated. So this completes our top view. Uh, in our next video, we'll be adding uh, actions to these buttons. Uh, so probably we'll be adding action to this button and uh, we'll be then working on the recycler view and then our app will be start making more sense and will be start coming into a better shape so that's all for this video stay tuned wait for the next video and in till then stay safe thank you